what's up y'all welcome back to my channel if you are new here my name is tommy mm -hmm. be sure to hit that subscribe button make sure you got your notifications on so you know when i post okay so this vlog is gonna start off with me upgrading our gaming pc y'all just gonna watch me figure this shit out this is not a tutorial okay so if you're here for tips and tricks and all of that shit this ain't the spot for you, okay? We're going to start off with our graphics card. We got the GeForce RTX 4080 graphics card. Um, this is a major upgrade because I think we got like a 3060 now. So <gasps> I'm excited about. <laughs> Y'all don't even know. Uh, this is the power supply. Uh-oh, uh-oh, uh-oh. Shit. All right, so we got the... 4080, we have the HXI series HX1000i high performance ATX power supply. I don't know anything about anything, I just know that people recommended that this and that go together, so mm -hmm, that's what we're doing. Then we have the Tough Gaming B650 plus Wi Fi. We also have a new CPU. And then we got some extra Rizam. We're going to try to make room on this desk for the PC upgrade. And I'm going to have to find somewhere to put y'all. Maybe on the desk. I don't know. Got some more thermal compound for the... Is it the AIU? It's a cooler in there. Whatever. We got that. See, I don't know what I'm doing, y'all. I just know that this is what they said that I needed. So we're going to figure out what needs to be done. I can do this. 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 I feel like I need to take off both sides. But I'm not I'm not gonna do that. I'm gonna take off this side and then I'm gonna work from this side. Cause I think that's just a hidden thing. I don't know. I don't know. I'm not gonna go. I'm not gonna go into it, y'all. I'm not gonna go into it. I'm just gonna do it, okay? I'm just I'm just gonna do it. Ain't nothing to it. But to do it. That's what what's name set off Martin, remember? What's his name? Ain't nothing to it but to do. Ain't nothing to it but to do. This is our PC. I'm just going to go ahead and open her up and start taking stuff out, I guess. I mean, yeah. I literally just did all of this. I just plugged everything up. Everything was put placed perfectly so that the cords would be nice and neat but guess what i'm taking it all apart all again ignore the the wall back there remember how i ripped them damn hexagon lights off the wall yeah i still ain't covered it i don't know where to start i feel like i'm gonna start rambling just so i didn't i don't have to start but we're gonna take this off I know it's going to be a whole lot of screws. I'm a little scared about that. I'm a little scared about that. I'm going to take the glass off. It don't look that scary. Listen, I'm such a nerd for how, even attempting to do this shit. Like, I'm, I'm, listen, look at my ass. What, what I'm doing over here with this damn PC open? ...at the rear output that could possibly be holding this GPU in place and then go ahead and push over to remove our cpu cooler i personally have I'm gonna make sure i keep this together because i will definitely be mad if i lose it okay cool this comes right out so i gotta take this off because it's connected here and release that gpu go ahead and remove the ram by pushing the down that cool some of you guys are not going to have this but the process is very similar just remove any and all where is it it's supposed to be a tab in the front it has tabs at the top i'm talking to myself rear output that could pass front of the pcie slot and release that gpu graphics card for that so the tool that i use that i have found to be great and i use it because i do a lot of automotive work is a trim tool Upgrading vital components in your system can seem like a daunting task on the surface. I mean, Very the daunting. CPU. Michael helps turn your ideas into I want to make sure I'm pushing the right thing to click it out because 
It looks like it's this silver thing right here, but I'm not sure, and I don't want to click it too fucking hard. There we go, finally. My motherboard only has tabs at the top. Now we're going to this remove our the CPU last. cooler. I personally have an all-in-one CPU second. cooling system that's liquid-cooled. Some of you guys are not going to have this, but the process is... Alright, so we're going to remove this cooler. <sighs> Why would they do that? Why on earth would they do that? That's so fucking stupid. They did that to kind of like, okay. And I don't want to, I can't yank it out. And it's attached here. I'm unplugging all of the cords here and I'm having an issue with this one cord and I'm pushing the little release button on the side it's just not coming out it's just not coming out oh my back I'm getting too old for this shit oh let me get on this chair and it's time to old for this shit you can do it with your back do it I'm pushing it and I'm pulling it. And it's not coming out. Ugh, see, it's, it's out. Yes. God damn, that was hard. For what? I think everything is pretty much unplugged. I just gotta figure out how, like, I don't know if y'all gonna be able to see this. Hopefully, y'all can. But the cord that's connected to this cooler this liquid cooler is stuck behind this thing and i've tried to pull it or like pull it through one of these little slashes and it looks like it's already kind of just like stripped a little bit and i don't want to it's y'all can't see i'm sorry it's kind of like stripped and y'all i want y'all to be able to see what i'm talking about this cord right here i'm trying to like guide it out of one of these little things but it looks like it's already stripped y'all can't tell for real but it's stripping and i don't want to rip that cord because i don't know if i have extra i don't i don't i really don't know if i have extra and it's gonna it's gonna suck if i don't we're gonna try to remove the motherboard that way i'll still be able to take out the cooler i'll see what i can do there we go all right now this cord right here is what's blocking the way it's gonna have to come through here it really is gonna have to just go through there I don't want to tear it, but that's really what they did to get it in there. And I feel like they tore it when they put it in there. That's fucking annoying. That's so annoying. I don't want to pull too hard on this cord. Because it's already fucking stripped. Like how? Can I pull it through here? Let me sit this back here. I want y'all to see what I'm talking about. So I know I probably damaged it a little bit, but I know damn well I didn't. They they had to have did that trying to trying to um secure it in that little cable management thing, and that's just irritating. I hope I got another one of them cords. I gotta clean my CPU off and then I really hope that didn't fuck it up. Cause if so, I'm gonna have to look up how to change that damn cord. What is 
this? DDR4. Fuck. I might have to go to Best Buy. I thought all RAM were equal. Clearly not. Clearly the fuck not. Might as well get four of them. Shit, four slots. Y'all, this is such a headache. This is what I was worried about. I knew something like this would happen, but I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna let it get me down. Okay, we're gonna go to Best Buy. We're gonna pick this up, but first, I'm gonna focus on getting everything else installed, and the ramp should be easy. It's just like a pop in a pop in type of situation so we're gonna finish everything else and then and then instructions as about that notches on the side of your cpu that will align with tabs in the cpu socket line these up and gently place your cpu into the socket you don't need any pressure here just gently rest it into the socket on what you excessive down okay the cool we did it you will damage the internal socket pins it's in there. It's definitely in there. It's not moving. This part right here, this little flat part, this little flat part, when I push it down, it seems like it's it's not going down. And I don't want to fuck it up. All right, it's in there. I'm just scared. So hard having nails doing all of this. All right, y'all, so. I ended up ordering the RAM that I needed and I had to go pick it up from Best Buy before nine. I left here at like 8, 10, like a little after eight or whatever. And I ended up getting into a car accident. So there's that. Surprisingly, like I'm not shaken up at all. Cause something in my spirit like said like don't go or like said that something was gonna happen. Like I, I knew it. So when it happened, I wasn't really surprised in the moment. I wasn't really surprised. But I'm thankful that you know, it's just the cars that were damaged um, because those are things that can be fixed. And I'm just glad to be home. I'm going to finish putting this together and then try to get a good nice rest and then get up in the morning and go pick that ram up. I'm just, I just be so like, something told me. Something fucking told me. Something told me you shouldn't be out here right now. Anywho. We are not going to make this about that. Um, I'm just thankful that I was able to drive back home and it wasn't serious at all. So, take my coat off. Y'all can't see nothing. I'm kind of just going through right now and reattaching everything to the motherboard. I'm trying to remember where everything goes. Okay, Every, so far everything looks right. I'm just a little worried about this cord on this, um, this AIO cooler because one of them is completely like snagged. Like it's not even attached anymore. Alright, so I basically, I'm basically just building a PC from nothing. Practically replacing everything except for the memory and the AIO. Uh, I kind of took it off, so it's kind of like reassembling it. I don't fucking know, but I know it's a lot. It's supposed to just go in, right? I'm getting the hang of this, y'all. I think I really think I am.
we're making progress. I just have to install the GPU now and wait until tomorrow, I guess. says I have four of these cables and I only I only count two of them for real two that's all I count and I feel like it should have come with it but it says fully margin connect only the cables you need so maybe it's just telling me how many cables it'll hold Why doesn't it tell me what comes in the box? Okay, since there's only two, might as well go ahead and put this back. There's really nothing much that I can do about it. right now can't really do much until the quarter rise for the gpu so the power supply only came with two and this gpu requires three i don't know it's it's past my bedtime i've stayed up way too late fussing with this and um i think i've i've done enough for tonight your girl is tired this is why you should. I'm gonna tell us you talking about it. You gonna see So good. You look fine. Living on no, not my shit. This stupid ass black motherfucker be loose. Man, get that shit out my face. Say hi to the black. No, nigga, you see what I'm doing? Do it look like hi. You look nice, though. Stop doing something like that. She trying to end Say something to the black. How y'all doing today? We are going over here to Iron Age to have a good, good, great meal. Damn, we can't leave. That motherfucker. That motherfucker. Yeah. We here. The last time we came, I didn't eat nothing, but I plan on eating everything. <laughs> oh, oh, okay. Okay. I gotta get the freakiest nigga on the show. Oh, uh, but. <laughs> yeah, you ain't know. I know what y'all don't leave all out. <laughs> How long y'all been here? Dude made a lick. Since two. <laughs> And then, um, JB had it. Mm -hmm. Right. Yo. Yeah. Yeah. Right. Trying to figure out how to do the chopsticks. So you gotta hold it. All right, all right, all right. At the base right here, right? Hold it at the base. And then with your index and your thumb, that's the one you gonna control. So however it feels comfortable to hold it, you gonna just control the top one like this. I use the pants. Yo, my hands is too big for this thing. I ain't feel cold. See how I'm holding it right here on the top? This one doesn't move. This one is kind of special. I rest it right here. And then like you're riding, you're just riding up and down. Like you're controlling it up and down to pinch it. So I have to write like this. Oh, like when I write with the pencil. This shit is like a foreign. Like, yeah. it's, it's, not, it's, not, it's, not, it's not closing. It's not closing? It's not, it's not closing. So you kind of have to make it. You have to find your own way. Are you trying? Now, how it fits. Oh my God. But the more you use it, the more you get a long time. So hopefully. We'll get there. We'll get there. Shit, I got this. 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 I got this.
this. Listen. Okay, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. We gonna, believe in you, you got this. Gonna, Close it. There we go. She had a situation. Don't give up. I learned when I was, I learned when I was a kid. It's a once a year uh, activity and then I move on. I move on. Try to eat your whole meal with the towel. Like we gonna be here for three hours and y'all look. The first the thing is you have to keep doing it. You have to keep trying. Yeah. Until yeah. you get the feel of muscles it. Muscles won't like. How you doing? Oh good. How you doing? Good. Well. Oh. Right. I missed this salad last time. It's so good. Yeah, the salad is busted. Is this an intervention? We don't want to see you quit. You need to put that as a point redemption. Hell no. No, no. You don't quit. You don't quit. You keep trying. There you go. This, oh, this is a new Yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah. This is sweet. Yeah. 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 I tried to tell you. Yeah. 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 What is this again? Tupoki. Tupoki. Yeah, Tupoki. The rice cake. This shit good as hell. Oh, hell yeah. You motherfucker hating on me. My man. Yeah. I don't know how I'm going to get it. Yeah. Oh, you got to deal with this. I ain't got to deal with this. Right there. Give them for the chili motherfucker. Yeah. I'm about to poke, man. Oh, huh. Yeah. When it, comes, when it comes to rice, look, if I got to fight for it, I don't want it. And me, I love my rice, so I ain't fighting for it. I'm so damn cool. Look, 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 look. So this, this got now uh, what masticated? This masticated got. Uh, you full of shit. You so full of shit. I said a masticating juicer, nigga. That witch color. You get your wig. You get your wig color. That witch color. You go to the end. That witch color. Where your toothbrush at? Where your toothbrush at? I head home. Where witch color? It need to be with you. You need to be with you. I can smell your shit over here. See, you still it. get your shit from the Dollar it. General because it got you used this morning. Because I used it this morning. And your breath still bad. You need to get it. You wish y'all that? You crazy. Get from by the people car too. <laughs> well, they think you stealing. Because you look like you steal in a way. You steal with that homo. What's going on? What's up? Know, you stand Clay Kelly. You stand Clay Kelly. That's not for stealing. No, drug addict, drug addict. Look, oh, watch yourself, man. Hold your purse. <laughs> you hold your purse. <laughs> the link out here. So we're back in the game room. I'm about to install a new one of these. Now we have every. I think we have everything we need. I ended up getting an extra cord three PCIe cores and it only came with two. So I had to order, I had to order extra. So I have extra here. We got a new, this one doesn't have RGB. It doesn't, it should have said it. This ain't got no color on it. I know you fucking lying. I need some color. This is the part that needs to go downward. So we're gonna put her like this. Last night I got completely like overwhelmed and irritated with this process. Um, I went to boot the PC and it wouldn't boot. It kept bringing me to this bio screen. So what I ended up doing was reinstalling the Windows software onto um, a thumb drive or 
downloading the software onto a thumb drive and installing it through the thumb drive. Now from there, I had to basically just format my, my SSD and everything was taken off. As you know, like when you format a memory card or whatever. I formatted the um, the SSD and um, it let me install the Windows software and boot it up. So everything is gone. I just have to reinstall everything and set everything back up. I just have to start from scratch, I guess. We got to re-download OBS. We got to download all of the games and all of that stuff. Um, I would like to clean this room up. I'm just about to focus on getting everything set up. All right, y'all, so let me take this off because I'm already looking crazy. So I am done, officially 99% done because the cord I'm waiting for is just the cord that plugs into the GPU. It's an angled cord so it doesn't hit the glass or the panel on the side. So this was a process, okay? It was a very, very long process. I learned a lot. A lot happened since I turned the camera off or since the battery died. I downloaded everything that was needed. Came to Come to find out there was a lot of drivers that needed to be uh, installed. So I had to find those drivers, install those drivers. And then I couldn't for the life of me get the Wi-Fi to work on the graphics card. I mean, not the graphics card, the motherboard. I couldn't get the Wi-Fi to work for the longest. I was scouring like searching 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 on the internet on this trifling ass ghetto ass internet where people just do nothing but waste my motherfucking time okay that's really how I feel like I was watching videos I probably watched like a hundred videos on how to get the the wi-fi to work for this motherboard and it turns out that Asus my 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 asus it's called my asus okay so if you having this problem and you got a 40 series with the wi-fi make sure you download my asus and get your drivers from my asus because i got the drivers from the asus website a lot of them worked but my asus will have all of the drivers that you need you won't even have to go to the website and put in like your serial number you won't have to do any of that because it'll already register your hardware and what you have so it basically just pulled up all the drivers that i needed thank god it worked and now i have wi-fi and now like my i was i was stressed okay i was stressed thank god i'm done everything works there's no like crazy shit going on in the pc I'm proud of myself. I stuck it out. I did it. I was fucking scared. I'm not going to lie to you. I was scared to even attempt to try to even build a PC or upgrade the PC. I was just intimidated and I got it done. Yes, it was very stressful. It was a very stressful process for someone like me who don't know what the fuck they're doing. I figured it out. So just like yesterday, I was forcing prints to use... Them, jam them damn chopsticks, okay? I had to force myself to stick it through and get everything done, and I'm proud of myself. The only thing I need to change now is that cord. Everything else is a cakewalk for me, so your girl did it. Handsy Michelle or Techie Michelle. Techie Michelle? We need to do a series of Tommy Does It All because I literally... I, I do it all, okay? I do it all. I build PCs, I install wigs, I do makeup, I, uh, fuck, what else I do? I do it all, mm-hmm. But yeah, good night, y'all. Um, I guess I'll see y'all tomorrow. We making pizza tomorrow. <laughs> I'ma show y'all how I make my pizza tomorrow, and yeah, I just realized I don't have no fucking cheese. What's up y'all it is what's today uh tuesday december 12th we're about to make some pizza red is red is uh washing the dishes right now and um yeah we're gonna make some pizza i gotta run to the store and get some cheese because i forgot it
We made it, or I made the dough. <laughs> it's homemade dough. I made the dough from scratch. We gotta make the sauce and cut up the veggies. I'm gonna wash my hands. And then my juicer came. It ain't gonna take me forever to juice some more. $1,800 juice, I know that motherfucker. It's not $1,800. How much is it? I paid for something for it. That one was like, uh, let me look. Let me look it up. That one was like three hundred. But juices are not cheap, especially decent ones. I'm so squeezing all these goddamn fruit over there, goddamn bowl. I'm gonna squeeze that motherfucker. You catch it with the bowl. I'm gonna squeeze that bitch. You hear me? You laugh. I'm real Two sixty-five. So half, half the amount of what is I paid. It it's bigger and it, it and it juices the whole fruit. Instead of me having to cut them up and yeah. This is Boo Mama and Boo Zaddy um, cooking segment of the vlog. Uh, tomato sauce, tomato uh, in the cabinet. <laughs> so I need to go to the cheese. store for sun dried tomatoes and cheese. Cheese. And that's it. Put an end to this right now. Look, you're not darker than me. Who's darker? Inside. I don't want to. Inside. Who darker? Yeah, you're, you're just a different color. I don't mean it dark. Okay. Please. Please. That's I'm definitely bullshit. darker. That's some bullshit. I'm definitely My darker. Shit translucent right now. <laughs> Chef, hold on. I'm trying to get get the wrist work. Hold on. Get it. Get it. Uh oh. Uh oh. Don't worry about that. You got my nerve. Hold some. Hold on. Move that motherfucker around a little bit. Get a little shake on them motherfucker. I mean, they get dumb. They get stop being moving like that. Uh huh. Got them motherfucker little irons on. Uh huh. They got them color on it. Caramelized. We're gonna add in our uh tomato sauce. Bit tomato sauce. Diet tomato. Five roast. Uh huh. One in that motherfucker. Tomato. If I hear my arm in my head. Oh, that meaning I'm gonna do it and then jump it out the pot. <laughs> <laughs> that bitch about to be good. Shit. <laughs> yeah. oh, oh, okay. Look at that. So that's tomato sauce. Yeah, tomato sauce. Yeah, tomato sauce. Yeah. It's cool. And then we'll fuck. Yeah. It's cool. And then motherfucker pull that motherfucker out. Mm. Yeah. Put that motherfucker go around that motherfucker too. Make sure you get all that. Around, you don't know nothing about that. They call a spiral. <laughs> it's a spiral. Yeah, yeah. It, man, they motherfucker thick. As long as you get most of it out, you're not gonna get all of it out. Well, you don't know what this spiral. You have a spiral. You don't know what the hell I, I get out there. I spiral damn. before. You don't know what the hell I get out there. Goddamn, can't handle. Don't try to. Don't try I don't know what I'm doing. Wait, like, what you just do? Uh. -uh. <laughs> get that motherfucker like that. <laughs> okay, I gotta add that to my repertoire. We need um. That Italian seasoning, salt. salt. I feel like that should be it for the sauce. You want onion powder, garlic powder? We could do that too. We'll do that. Yeah, put a whole lot of onion powder in there. Yeah, I'm not crazy. Our powder. Yeah, they look okay. Wrist work. Go ahead. Take it with Keep going. Some people like to put sugar in a in a sauce. It's not bad. Yeah, you it's not. You want to get a pinch? You can get a pinch. If you yeah, sugar not bad. People put sugar in their pizza sauce because they like it to have that sweetness to it, and it doesn't make it taste bad. It's just get the uh, you know, get the other one, the brown one. Cane sugar in there. It's it's the same sugar. It's just not bleached. Uh, yes, it is. Sugar. It's plain. It's cane sugar. It's called pure cane sugar on the bag. No, it's not. How much you want to bag it? 
You it's gone. I'll go exactly. to the, I go to when I go to the, the store. I'm gonna get it. Gone, I'm gonna go to the store and I'm gonna take a picture of it and send it to you. Man, you get this on camp. Oh, sorry. You got me fucked up. Now come on, I get it on camp. <laughs> Ready? Uh-huh. Sugar. Little cascade. Uh-huh. Little cascade. One uh -huh. more little pinch. One more little pinch. Shit don't taste like Kool-Aid. Fucking <laughs> 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 well, Linda, you made me miss the goddamn thing. <laughs> you know what? <laughs> Mia said I should make you my uh, my Kool-Aid smoothies that I used to make for us. Hell yeah. yeah. I told What's you. your favorite flavor? Red. Red kind? Red. You know you had put two packs in that motherfucker. Yeah. You but, had to mix yeah, it. Yeah, and then you had to mix it with the lemonade or the lemon one too. Yeah. Look. Listen, I used to make the best Kool-Aid. I don't know about that. We can Kool-Aid all We can. Day. We can. We I made the best Kool-Aid. Kool Kool yep. Put some lemon slices in that hoe. What the fuck going on? You always try to be a competition. I you can't make like, no better goddamn Kool-Aid like Kool than me. I used to like the red kind and I used to like the grape one. Grape was sick. I can't eat like grape by itself. I had to mix. Yeah, lemon. I, yeah. I lemonade. I yeah. never uh, had Kool Aid without it. I had to have lemonade in it. I I did three, four pack. Look, I did some wild shit one day. And that blue, that tropical, that, that blue motherfucker. You know the blue pack, the you tropical motherfucker. Yeah, I remember yeah. that one. Had to mix. Remember the ice one? Yeah. But, but that sugar took that bitch over the tin knot. Yeah, it tastes good. It's good. I could have had a little more sugar if I wanted. You could have. Professional veg vegetable cut around the bit. They whoever judge nigga mind they motherfucking bit too. Long as they bit get cut, that's all that motherfucking matter. I don't give a fuck what shape they in, they gonna taste the same. Mm -hmm. So, Red has finished the bell peppers. Um, I gotta chop up this onion and then. That's pretty much it. We got our dough. It's nice and fluffy. Well, you got more than I got. Do I? Here. Yeah, you can eat stand it. Yeah, pick it up and make it into like a ball like this. It shouldn't be sticky because of the flour on it. Grow up. Please grow up. Just grab it. You I'm scared so, of it? Yes. Yeah, there you go. It's kind of like, it's called kneading with a K. You knead it with that rolling pin. Like this, separate it like a piece of place. Like this. Yeah. You see how I flip it like this? Mine broke. Is it? Is it? Where? Where is it? It's not. It's not done yet. Go like this. Here, give me here. Put it in your. Like this. And just separate it and push it around like that. You mad here, my piece of this figure. It's not. Mm. Here, you want to use this? Yeah. <laughs> this stick and these flowers. Hold on, I got you. I got you. Mm. Right. You that look too good. <laughs> Roll it. Rolling, roll tide, roll tide, rolling on the rip, roll tide, roll tide. Uh, I'm gonna pass by that butter tide. That shit ugly. No, it's not. So let me show you. Okay. Yeah. Make sure that's centered. Your um, yeah. Mm -hmm. Crisp. Like so, like that. Yours look better. <laughs> Here, roll this. Roll this. Kind of, kind of, 
I'm not. Do you want to switch? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> like a motherfucker. <laughs> you want my dough. I'm going to show y'all. I'm going to show y'all what mine is. Like, you did good. It's all going to taste the same. It's the same dough. I don't want that taste the same. I want my shit to look pretty. So, you going to rag your ass pizza now. Fine. That's one thing I'm not about to do. Maybe you go right and she's having me sitting here pissed off. Look at it. Make mine a pain. It still look better? It look good now. It look Thank good you. now. Okay, cool. <laughs> Alright, y'all. So this is what the dough looking like. Then mine. This reds. Reds look better than mine now. You wanna switch? Easy peasy. Get your pepperoni out the fridge, boo. Wash them. Is that tomatoes in there? You like the warm sauce or is that enough? No, I'm just spreading it. Yeah. You don't spread it, don't eat it. Why are you getting jellicot? I'm going over your shit. That shit was raggly, Tommy. We got some pizza, uh, uh, cheese, fat red. I'm not putting no cheese on my pizza. Tell the vlog what you did to me, don't they? Oh, uh, what? Your sandwich? Uh, okay, so. I was making red sandwich and the miracle whip I put on his sandwich was expired. And tell him about how much. I didn't know. When was it expired by? Because I don't remember. September. And tell him what the date was. And like three, four days ago. December. Put your finger A few up. months. Oh. September, what? October, November, December. That's a few months. That's three months expired. Three months. I meant like 90 know. days something bad. I didn't know. I she didn't made know. It. I, I was chewing the hell out of <laughs> I was yeah. chewing the hell out of that mother. I said, baby, that good. Yeah, we're well, good. Motherfucker, I'm going to put me listen. <laughs> I'm going to have to go join Elizabeth. So we got our sun-dried tomatoes. I cannot have pizza without sun-dried tomatoes. They just make it taste so much better. So much better. I don't like no veggie pizza. I like the margarita, but they boring as fuck. It's very, it's very much a uh, fancy cheese pizza. <laughs> yeah, that's it, boring. It's a very fancy Not cheese bad, pizza. So. I'm the, I'm the nigga that like to heat that piece up in the oven like the day after and let it get crisp in that bitch. Well, you lay, you layered that look at that look good. Uh, my pizza? I don't know that no more. You put that shit on there now. <laughs> <laughs> Come with that bullshit. <laughs> Red doesn't like olives I or mushrooms. I olives. Mushrooms look cute on the pizza though. All right, y'all. That's my pizza. We got our bell peppers, our onions, our mushrooms, and olives on here. No cheese for me. So pop that in the oven right quick. It look good without the cheese. I ain't gonna say it look like it tastes good, but it looks good as a good pizza. Thank you. You can put them on the outside too, like closer to the edge. That look good to me. That's it. I'm gonna add some pepperoni on top. Or some more cheese. Alright, I'll get that. Pizza. Do what you want with it. Uh, I wish I could cut you up and put you on there. <laughs> <laughs> Your pizza look nice. Thank you. It's gonna taste good too. This shit's sick for real. Oh, it's it's yeah, yeah. Okay. You good. And that's red pizza, y'all. Pepperoni yeah. and veggies. Oh, I'm crazy. So I got a package from the homie Chad P. Um, some real is rare merch. We got his luxury package CD right here. Okay. Make sure I put that in the core so I can listen to it in the core. And then I got some real is rare shorts, some booty shorts. These are so cute. And then I got another real is rare tee. The other one is just a crop tank top, but this is the crop tee. And then I got a realist rare keychain with a diamond on it. Mm -hmm. Oh, I also got some realist rare lighters. We did get a candle from Psalm Candle. She gave me my own fragrance, y'all. My own fragrance is called Tommy's Winter. It smells so good. I'll be sure to put the link down in the description. Y'all make sure y'all get y'all one of these. When I say it smells heavenly 
It smells so good. So make sure y'all get one. She gave me some wax melts too. And that's it. I'm about to open my juicer and get to juicing some of this stuff for the night so I don't have to do it tomorrow. Ah. I'm already knowing that this juicer is going to be much bigger than the other one. So let's open her up. I'll make sure I put the link down below if y'all are interested in getting a juicer. This one was pretty expensive though, so I'm not, I'm not, I'm gonna put that out there. It, it was a little expensive. It's the Covings or Covings. I'm gonna call it Covings because that sounds better. It's the Covings Whole Slow Juicer optimized for carrots and celery. The Revo 830. So it juices the whole thing. So I ain't no more chopping up my fruits and veggies. Okay. I'm excited. Yeah, let's open this bad boy up and see what she can do, shall we? recipe book in here stop playing with me okay that's nice they give us a little recipe book okay i'll probably end up using this to see what you know what they got in here pomegranate juice orange juice grape juice cabbage juice i don't know about that but okay this is gonna be a big ass juicer because it's it broke it two halves and for what you said, you said this is a sorbet maker too. So it makes sorbet. Oh, this is heavy as fuck. Hold on. I guess this is the base. What else? All right, let me show y'all the pizza right now. All right, here go our pizza. This one's red. I want it to focus. Focus, bitch. Okay. This one's Red's Pizza. He likes his bottom to be crisp. So it's nice and crisp when it's, you know, hard like that and it doesn't bend. Versus mine, I like mine to have a little bend to it. Just a little bend. It got a little cr crunch on the bottom, but it's not too much. But Red's is like very, very crisp on the bottom. But you can tell the top is very, very soft. So just the bottom is, is um, crispy. So if you like your bottom to be crispy, just cook yours on the bottom rack. I'm gonna let it cool down for like five minutes and then I'm gonna eat. There's a whole lot of pieces in here. I think all of them have different purposes. Like if there's a sorbet maker in here, it's probably a different attachment. They come with the right cleaning tools and everything in here. I love that so I can clean it properly. We got the feed chute, the drum lid, the juice cap. Anyway, step one. This kind of confusing, y'all. Like, it's not telling me. Like, it doesn't give numbers to the part. Like, it does, but I don't know what the fuck that is on the bottom. I'm going to take a break real quick because this seems like it's going to be a lot. Let me eat my pizza. Y'all. Y'all. I swear to God. I'm a master pizza maker. I'm a master. I've mastered this shit. This dough is doughy and very soft, huh? I feel like the trick to making your own dough is let it rise for a, a day. Well, not a day. Let it rise overnight. At least 12 hours. Let that shit rise. Mm. Huh. What's that? Mm. This is really, this is really heavy. So I think this goes like this. Put this in here, like so. I don't know if there's a specific way to do this or if we just put it in like that. 
So this goes down. Like this. Yeah, I think that's how it goes. Yeah, that's how it goes. It's not as complicated as I thought it would be. So this goes on like this. And then I gotta match up the red dots. Like this. Alright. So I'm all done putting it together. It wasn't that hard, y'all. I thought it would be a lot harder, but it wasn't that hard. This is what it looks like. Where's my piece at? Hold on. I need to add my, my shover. Is that what it's called? That's not what it's called, but that's what I'm going to call it today. My shover. Goes down the middle right there. But yeah. And then I think that's it. All right, so the juicer is all cleaned um, and put back together. I think what I'm going to do tonight is make my um, ginger shots and then um, celery, celery juice with apples, kale. No, celery, apples, spinach, ginger, and I think that's it for my green juice. My apples are clean. I have to clean my celery and my spinach real quick. Shoot, I forgot I had cucumber too, so. All the fruit is clean, prepped, ready to go. My spinach is here. I think I'm gonna do the spinach last. Cause I'm not sure, I feel like the spinach will go in this little chute right here, but I'm not sure. Make sure y'all clean y'all celery, okay? Clean y'all celery, okay? It be nasty and got gunk and bugs and all kind of stuff on it. So clean y'all celery, please. Let's get it started. First fruit, let's go. juice is done now it's time for the ginger orange lemon and i think that's it this is all for my ginger shots though so orange juice i got some orange oranges i got some lemon i got i'm gonna go ahead and clean these though oranges lemon and ginger That's it. I feel like I want to take a ginger shot right now. But it's not going to be a ginger shot because I'm going to mix a shot with something else and take a double shot of this. I never use these cups, but I love them. I got them from the thrift store a while ago. This is clean, right? Let me clean it out again. Okay. We're going to take a shot of this, but I want to mix it with... I'm going to pour some of this in the... Oh, so much. I'm gonna pour some ginger juice into the celery juice just a little bit. Give it a little. I feel like that's plenty. Yeah, that's plenty. That's more than enough. Let's do a shot, shall we? And then I'm gonna pour it in here. get some of this Lakewood orange mango juice and mix it with this so this is what it looks like yeah that's definitely ginger I made a lot of ginger juice. A lot. More than enough. 
I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to freeze both of these and then use this as my shots for this week. And then we got our celery juice. All right. That was quick and easy. So what probably would have taken me like two, three hours easily took me one hour. Now, I just have to clean. I've been needing this too. Look, I was made for the camera if we're gonna be honest with you. You know what I mean? I was meant to be here. I'm gonna start my own vlogs too. The jamming with jukebox. Alright. Okay. You know what I'm saying? All the real. Yeah, it's not, oh, you know this. Yeah. 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 This is like jamming with jukebox. That's gonna save by the bill ass shit is that. why I see that why that bitch, that bitch a hater, bro. He ain't never come up with nothing. He ain't never came up with nothing cause he lame. That bitch jealous of me. He been jealous of me for 20 years. That bitch been jealous of me. If we met like today, I would not be this nigga friend. I would not be this nigga friend. Not really. Everybody like me. Everybody don't like me. Everybody like me. Everybody don't like me. There's somebody who don't like me. There's nobody out there in the world that don't like me. Don't say in this world. Everybody that don't like me, I done had said with. No, that's not true. That is true. Everybody don't like you yeah. like that. And you, you fuck there? I didn't fuck there. Okay, thank you. Everybody hit me up. Because he sound like you.